here, uh, this game is also a Watchtower Cafe, and this one, Miss Pac-Man, supports the Rogue Home, which is the homeless shelter here in Salt Lake City, uh, and they are working to overcome the homelessness problem here in the area. Um, so half the money you put into this machine goes straight to them, it helps them fulfill their cause. Uh, but let's get into the game. Um, now this Miss Pac-Man machine is an original Miss Pac-Man machine, going all the way back to 1981. However, it has a speed-up chip in it, so she runs really fast, which I think makes the game way more fun. But if you're a purist, I suppose you might take issue with that. out here for a sec, let some of the ghosts come out so we can get them all with one. They will come out. Oh! Dang it, ran right into him. That's the thing about the turbo, is that you, you run into guys You run quick. into them pretty quick. started out as a hack of Pac-Man and uh, there was a lot of interesting little stuff that went on. Um, they basically tricked Namco and Midway into thinking that they had the rights to hack games and it was proven in court. And then Namco, well not even Namco, just Midway, was like, great, can you fix Pac-Man for us because no one's playing it anymore. And so they made Miss Pac-Man. The company just recently went out of business. They were still in business for a really long time. They weren't in the video game industry, but they were still in business for a really long time after that. Sweet. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, click like. If you like what we do on this channel, subscribe. If you want to watch more of our videos, here's two of them. The Video Game Heritage Institute is a 501c3 nonprofit organization preserving the cultural heritage and promoting the arts of video games. Donations to the organization are tax deductible in accordance with IRS guidelines.